now. We can close both of these because we're done with them. Next thing we're going to work with from the default folder will be the clock back and the call ID back, which is right there. Right, so I'm going to select both of them. I'll try to anyway. Control click and open. Now, these are ones that come with the default and they're pretty dark. I don't like them being that dark. So I'm going to do select this one, the caller ID back, and this little tab right here is a transparency tab. So I'm going to bring it over. The more I bring it over, the more transparent that gets. See? I'm going to make it so it's just barely visible. Just like that. Alright, now it's already named what it's supposed to be. I'm including this all in a folder I'm attaching to this thread. So you're going to have the caller ID back. You're going to have the clock back, and you're going to have the solid color lines up and downs. All right, the other the icons and stuff you're going to have to make yourself, but this is just a, a default to get you started. All right, now get the color ID back. I'm going to go to save as. I'm going to go to the Superman folder, just like I did with the other ones, and save. All right, same thing for this. I don't like how how dark that is and how it looks, so I'm going to make it a little more transparent, just like that. Save as. Superman folder. And save. Alright, and then we can close them guys out. And we would be pretty good to go. Now, what you want to do, since this your default folder does contain other items that I'm not that you know you're not gonna mess with like your signal icons, your notification icons, your battery icons. Now you can go into that and change them. Just the same process. Open them up, change them the way you want, save them the way they are. But that's kind of advanced and this is a, if you're looking at this tutorial, you're not ready for that anyway. Alright. It's got everything you need down here, the phone and the XML skin document. Now what I'm gonna do you're gonna close that. You're gonna go in to the folder that you have like my superman folder right here alright I'm going to delete the originals like this guy I don't need it no more so it's gone all the ones that I was working with beforehand alright the kryptonite one I was working with gone the superman one I was working with gone alright just make sure you don't delete your ones that you are going into your throttle lock. Now all I'm left with is my back, my caller ID back, my clock back, my dot, my dot no select, dot wrong, line left right, line up left. That's pretty much your whole theme. All right. Select it all, go to copy. You can cut if you want, but I'm just going to copy the other one so I don't get rid of it in this folder. Close that. Open up the default right click go to paste it's going to say you know do you want to overwrite blah, blah, blah. I will say copy and replace that way I'll replace the ones I just did with all the ones that are in here there you go alright now I'm gonna close this that's your default now what you want to do is this default that you just made rename it two ways you know you can click on it and click again in there to get to, to get three name Rename it whatever your theme is. Mine, I'm just going to name Superman. Alright. Sorry. Trailed off a little bit there. Just going to name it Superman. Boom. Just like that. Now, what I'm going to do is copy it. Now, the reason I did that was so I could use all the default programs in the XML document. So I don't have to worry about that. Default. Open up my computer. Go to my phone once again. Go to C or not C, into the, my device, go to program files, where throttle lock will be, go down to throttle lock, skins, where it says default, just right click, and paste. And I'm just going to paste everything in there. When it's done, you should see default and your new, your new theme, hit close, and you should be good to go. Now we're going to test it and see if it works. I'm going to do start this up. Go to my TouchFlow 3. I mean my throttle lock config. And do my unlock code to get it in there. Go to skin. Right there where it says default. I'm going to click on that. 
select Superman and hit save. Am I hitting it? There you go. I hit it that time. I should say change is saved. Select OK. And just to show you guys what it looks like, I'll hit change pattern. It's loading. There you go. There's your Superman. There's my no select themes. Alright. I'll show you what happens when I select them. It's the red S. See, it turns into Crypto and it went wrong. There's the red one going up to the left. There's the blue one I'm going, I mean, up to the right. There's the blue one I'm going down to the right. You can see it turns from the silver Superman red to the red Superman red. When I let go, boom, turns into kryptonite because it's wrong. Now if I enter my right pattern, which is what it was before, re-enter. This is the change area. And there you go, unlocks your phone. Now when you when you make your image for your background, if you have any black edges around the, around the corner, like on the bottom, like on that one, it had a little black on the bottom, what you got to do is go back into your Superman theme. Alright, bring up your back. Do, you know, the option tool right there. And you could just stretch it out a little bit. Now make up for the little area. Like, it's just, like I said, it's supposed to be 240 by 320, and if you remember, this one was a little short. But if you make it 240 by 320, it will fit perfectly. Alright, if you guys got any questions, you can hit me up on this thread. Uh, me or any other staff will be happy to help you. Again, this was Superman369 from SmartphoneJunkie.com. Alright guys, I'm adding this on the end. It's kind of like a little edit, showing you that it is fixed. 240 by 320 completely covers the whole screen. Stretches it out, fits perfectly. See, there's no more little black line at the bottom, completely flush. So it's the completed Superman. It's live to unlock.